Hello friends, I'm Berika. Welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to create dramatic lighting setup in Maya and Arnold. And let's start our lesson. This is our 3D scene. Let's adjust some parameters in Arnold Render. Let's turn off Auto TX connection conversion. We don't need this one and save our three threads for viewport. And let's start. First of all, we need to create uh, sky dome lights, HDRI lights. This is our reference. I like to these two reference. We need we I we can create something in between these two images for lighting. Let's import our HDRI. And check our render. It's working. But it's uh, very different temperature and mode. Let's change our uh, tint mode, gain. It's better right now. We, we can rotate a little and uh, uh, catch interesting angle. We don't need camera. This is our HDRI's background, and we don't need turn off and crank. And uh, let's uh, drop down our intensity slider a lot and create rim light. This is a very important light because we need to separate our uh, main object for background to background and create nice uh, highlight in edge. Oh, it's very low, let's crank up our intensity. Okay, and very important to move our light and test it, test uh, our uh, light. We, can, we, we need to catch interesting angles and reflections. That's why I rotated and move around. We can change um, our color. I always recommend it to change color because white color is not natural. We need some colors, always. Warm or cold colors. Okay, it's, uh, it's better. We can crank up a little our exposure. Okay, it's near. Uh, we need key light. Let's create our key light. We need area light again. Re let's reposition it. Called key. Isolate our lights. Light. This is a very Great feature in Arnold. Okay, we need to change the light shape in quad to disc. I think it's working pretty good for these scenarios. And let's try adjust some position and uh, exposure and temperature. It's very important to uh, do some tests, for example, uh, Let's sp spread down our spread reduce. It's more localized uh, lighting right now. We don't. We need this uh, technique. We don't need uh, uh, key lighting uh, uh, every place. We need mimic our lighting and catch eye. For example, our main object. This is our main focus area. And let's change temperature and, uh, for example, this value is good. Uh, 
Okay. We, we use this environment light for fill light. It's a field black uh, place in our scene. Let's isolate uh, again our key light and try uh, catch good angle. It's very important. I always see uh, uh, speculars and uh, mm. in, uh, speculars all in my scene because I would like to um, uh, mimic more, more, uh, create more depths in our scene. Okay, so it's not good at the moment, I don't like. I need some adjustment. This is our HDRI. Let's create area light and fill our background because it's too dark right now. Isolate, select uh, our lights and, uh, and um, fill our background a little. We need very soft light and we don't need very harsh lighting. It's, it's too much right now, you can see. Uh, let's down our exposure and try rotate and reposition. This is an essential step to um, rotate and move light. And, and let's create decay light. We don't need spread our light so, um, so long and deep. We need to localize our uh, spread area. Okay. Uh, right now it's very black. Let's uh, compensate our light for explo ex ex uh, exposure. Crank up our slider. Okay, it's better right now. And let's uh, crank down, let's down our uh, far, far end. It's better right now. Let's adjust uh, our samples. Three is good value. When we when we spread restrict our spread radius, we need more samples because render it will be more noisy, and that's why I need more samples when I drop down our spread radius. Okay. Let's move our uh, key light and catch a more interesting angle. Okay. We need interesting um, lighting for face and also uh, chair edges and uh, environment and other so other objects. It's um, it's better right now. It's more contrasty. Okay, this is my HDRI. It's fill our scene. Okay, this is a, our lighting. Uh, we can tweak some uh, lighting parameters. Let's block our HDRI for face because it's too bright right now. And uh, let's select our um, our environment light and add blocker and block some lights for from uh, coming HDRIs from face in on the face density is a strength 
Let's test this one. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's working right now, but uh, it's very hard edge. You can see it's bottom, bottom. Okay, and we need blends out uh, this uh, edge, crank up our height edge, and uh, it's more natural. Okay, it's better, but uh, we need little adjustment. Let's change our background uh, fill colors because it's uh, uh, it's uh, uh, very important to separate our background and foreground. It, this uh, right now since have very uh, depth right now because we change value temperature. Let's uh, restrict our rim light at decay. Okay. Crank up our exposure. Exposure. Okay, it's uh, we need it's need little. Okay, it's better right now. Let me know in the comment if you'd like to the next tutorial to cover compositing this render. And if you liked my tutorial, please subscribe my channel, like video, and catch you later. Thanks.